Oh, is it just me or was that guard about 12? Hate that. First of all, apologies for the scenery. Um, it's going to be fairly similar scenery until this five kilometre lockdown gets uh, gets uh, pulled out a bit. But uh, I'm out today having a look at the riding modes on the Zero SRS, which probably applies to the SRF, same bike, but whatever. Um, one thing I read about this bike, and that I noticed in, to an extent in my half an hour or an hour up on the SRF, is that the riding modes very much change the kind of bike that it is. I, I've had a number of bikes with riding modes. Uh, I've had a R1200 GS and RS, and I have the KTM. How's it going? And, uh, and uh, they have riding modes, and the KTM, I'll say, yeah, the riding modes, you can kind of tell the difference between them. Um, and it does make a difference. Um, the RS and GS, really no, uh, <laughs> really not so much. The difference between um, street mode and sport mode on the RS is kind of negligible. You know, it's, yeah, I mean, there's a difference if you're looking for it. But if you covered up the riding mode and asked me which it was, I'd be like, yeah, I, I wouldn't guess it most of the time. It seems like the, it's a sort of a thing that people just expect. And that um, applies especially to, and here's where I get to be snobby for a little bit, to, to rain mode, which is a mode that a lot of bikes have. I can understand rain mode if the default mode of your bike is fucking all the way on, you know. So Graham uh, has uh, an RSV4 factory. That fucking bike is all the way on. And like having a rain mode, which basically means like I don't have to concentrate on not slipping out in the wet. Um, kind of makes sense, maybe for that bike, maybe. But I think rain mode mostly is is kind of bollocks. Like just, it's a bit of a replacement for rider skill. The one concession I'll make is that like it takes your mind. If it takes your mind off keeping upright in the rain, then okay, maybe it's worth it. And honestly, it's you know it's not going to cost you any extra, so whatever. But uh, generally, they're, they're not a thing. So anyway, back to the. SRS and uh, its riding modes so all day yesterday when I was out and about I didn't really mess with much I've since had a chance to do a bit of messing uh, and I had it in street mode so the riding modes on the uh, SRS are uh, street mode which I'm in right now um, there is a sport mode which is fucking ridiculous hooligan mode uh, there is a eco mode which is supposed to be like turn the engine braking up and maximize for battery capacity. And then it's got a rain mode, uh, which I'm just going to kind of ignore and assume it's, you know, street mode with the throttle rounded off. So, um, I'm going to go through each of those modes and sort of give you an idea based off of what I know, which admittedly is not much, uh, what the difference between those modes is. And so, I'll, just, I'll try and describe it in relation to petrol bikes that I've ridden uh, and what they're like um, just to give you a comparison in terms of what engine braking is like and what acceleration is like. So I'm in street mode right now um, and street mode is, I think it's the default mode that you're kind of supposed to be in, you know, if you don't want to be in eco and you don't really care and you're not going to run out of battery, then street mode is where it's at. And how I'll describe, I'll describe street mode is that it's kind of an all-rounder. It's, um, in terms of acceleration, I'm sitting here at 60, and I can sit here at 60 all day long. I'm not fighting the bike. The bike isn't fighting me. It's uh, really good for just sitting there at a, at a particular speed. But if you need to pull off or you need the speed, it's there. Like, it's just immediately there because this bike is class. Um, and uh, I don't think it affects the suspension massively or anything like that it's literally just the acceleration and engine braking um, the engine braking is considerably less than on a petrol bike um, it's not it's not gone it's de it's definitely there there's definitely a bit of engine braking but it's very much not um, you know gonna stop you on its own <laughs> if, if you like um, so I think it's a decent amount of, of engine braking considering that this doesn't like the, the engine braking on this bike is artificial it doesn't need to be there um, so uh, and the engine braking in this bike does uh, recharge the battery in the same way that like a hybrid car 
or, or an electric car will recharge the battery. So the welly is there. You know, you're not you're not missing out on much. Uh, let me stick it up into sports mode. It's not a very great road for sports mode, but there you go. Sport mode, and then you put it in sport mode, and then you close the throttle, and then it's in fucking sport mode. And sport mode is sport mode. It's fucking, it's fast. It's just ridiculously fast. And uh, engine braking, I think, is minimal. I can't detect any, uh, which means there mightn't be any. Um, but, you know, it does what it says on the tin. Uh, let me try. Let me switch it again. Just press in the thing. Go over to back through street to eco. Eco mode. Ooh. And you immediately notice that somebody nearly goes up your hole because the engine braking just kicked in with a fucking vengeance. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the engine braking on eco mode is hard. Um, it's considerable. Uh, let me see. What's, what are you doing? Yeah, get out of your lane. You took the uh, eco mode engine braking is harder than any petrol bike engine braking that I've had, you know. And by engine braking, uh, what I mean is if you're accelerating upwards and you just let go of the throttle, the bike dives forwards and uh, starts stopping on its own. And so the normal clutch and transmission in a uh, in a petrol bike will just do that because of how it is. Uh, and so. In this bike it's artificial, what it's doing is it's basically taking the energy back into the engine and um, conserving energy, I don't think it's recharging the battery, I think it's just conserving energy for reuse. Yeah, so eco mode, the eco mode on the DS, uh, you could sort of pull off from the lights while pinning the throttle um, and, you know, it wouldn't run away with you. And uh, I tried that at the lights there a while ago and it's the same in this bike actually. So eco mode is like, it's not wimpy. Uh, it's not the power is still there it's just applied more smoothly it's just applied in a, in a very controlled way um, such that as I said if you're at if you're at a stop and you want to go you can pin the throttle the whole way and it's gonna just pull off and you know accelerate smartly but it's not gonna fucking wheelie it's not gonna do anything like that so uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, as for engine braking, engine braking very noticeable. Uh, but again, y you just put a bike into what's called eco mode. That's kind of what you signed up for. All right, we'll get around this thing and we will try rain mode, just just for shits and giggles. Uh, up, up, up. Here we go. Rain, and it goes nice and blue for you. Oh, rain mode is very wimpy indeed. Oh wow. Okay. Let me, let me try this for a minute and I'll get back to you. Oh wow, it's almost like there's a delay in the throttle. Like I, I just put I put it into rain mode there and the throttle just got real soggy all of a sudden. <laughs> it's just, uh, come on, come on bike, you can do it. Uh, I know you can. Um, that's mad. It's not like, like I've had two, three bikes with a sort of a rain mode on them now. And this is, Probably the closest to the rain mode, <laughs> you know, as it should be designed. Let me try and overtake this truck and we'll see how we do. Oh, come on, bike. You could do it, bike. Oh, yeah. Um, this is mad. This is, yeah, no, like I said, this is probably the closest thing to a rain mode. My imagination of what rain mode is supposed to be is that it softens off your throttle response such that you can't really skid the bike. Um by you know going over a wet patch and accelerating too hard so no hard changes in acceleration up or down and uh, boy that's what that's what certainly accelerating does let me see what the engine brake is like engine brake very light yeah so this is this is actually um it's actually the first rain mode that i've experienced that i think would actually help in the rain <laughs> you know help your average bike in the rain because I'm fucking hanging out with this thing and doing all sorts of mad feathers on it and stuff like that and it's just not doing anything. It's just, it's almost like they put a delay on the response from the throttle and just turn the engine braking down to barely, barely there. Like I think the engine braking is probably less than in, in street mode um, where it's otherwise lightest. Um, so that's interesting because um, because I was kind of ready to give up on rain mode as a concept, but it turns out it really seems to work. I haven't really had it, obviously I haven't had this bike out in the rain yet, but uh, 
we'll see how it goes when that eventually happens. The Polis want to know where I am going on my vehicle. How's it going? How's it going? Just harmed it. Cheers. I didn't tell you where I was. I was miles away, fucker. I really wasn't, actually. <laughs> I try not to get this bike taken off me for stupid reasons. I'm open to the fact that I could possibly have it taken off me for uh, for for legitimate reasons. Anyway, where were we? All right, back in street mode. Um, and yeah, uh, certainly street mode. Like, I'll say one thing about riding modes that I think still applies to this bike is that you're generally not going to be fucking about with them. Like, if you if you think it's a good idea to sort of look out the window and say, I wonder what mode I'll put my bike into today, <laughs> then you're probably doing riding modes wrong. Uh, how I can, like, how I've used um, riding modes in other bikes is basically if I'm commuting, I'll have it in normal mode, be it street or whatever it is, and if I'm acting a maggot, I'll put it in sports mode because I know on BMWs and KTMs, it actually tightens up the suspension as well. But uh, in this bike, I think I'll be leaving it in street. Like, maybe I can see myself if I'm cutting it fine on range, sticking it into eco mode, but I don't think eco mode's going to save you range-wise. So do I think driving modes or riding modes are still kind of a gimmick? Uh, less so with this bike. You know, if you were asking me, are you going to pay thousands extra for riding modes on your average motorbike? I'd say, meh, maybe. You know, depends on how much, you know, what it gets you. Um, certainly from the point of view of uh, on, on modern BMWs and KTMs, what the riding mode does for you as well is it, it tightens up or loosens your suspension, which I think is the big killer um, feature there. So that's, that's what I like about that. I don't think this bike does that. Um, and so if it's just literally throttle response, I think that this bike makes up for it, right? It, it, it might, I, I don't think it adjusts suspension, but I will go and check. Um, but as well, the, the riding modes are definitely a bigger deal in this bike. They definitely switch it from, you know, like, a diff like several different bikes. It's almost like several different bikes in terms of the response. You know, rain mode is something special. Um, in that I haven't really experienced a bike like it before unless you were riding like a 125 or a 250 or something and wringing its neck to get it to do anything but even still if you're on a, a small bike you're going to get the engine brake you're going to get a different experience than what I just have with rain mode here on this bike um, eco mode I would say eco mode reminds me of um the ER6 in terms of it used to dive a bit on the engine brake. Um, it's not wouldn't be as power. It'd be about as powerful or, or as an ER6. It'd be like a a 600 commuter bike, like not a 600 sports bike. That's what I would sort of compare it to. Um, street mode again. I don't have a bunch of comparison here, but um, closest I would have is is uh, the RS. It's kind of like the RS in that like it has that. You can just flick the fucking um, you can just flick the flick the throttle and the power is there for you. I'd imagine it's quite like, um, although I haven't ridden them, a lot of the <coughs> sort of um, mid to large side naked bikes like the MT-09. Uh, I'd imagine it's like that. Um, and again, <laughs> sport mode is fucking 1000 RR territory. It's fucking mad, no mad noise. And so in conclusion... I think uh, I think the riding modes on this bike actually really bring it out to shine. Like you can ride three or four different bikes. I know the frame and everything has a lot to do with it, but like engine characteristics and braking characteristics wise, you can ride three or four different kinds of bikes, and it's in one bike. It's pretty class. Uh, it's not a gimmick. All right.